Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Alex, for those of you that are new and if you don't know, I currently live in Italy and my husband and I were supposed to be at this moment in Mauritius. We had a two week vacation booked, everything was planned organized all that and last minute he got uh, positive so he tested positive for covid so we had to cancel all of our plans luckily most of the companies still have good like cancellation policies so we pretty much got like all of our money back but nonetheless we had plans for like a beautiful two-week vacation he didn't take vacation the whole summer so he was working and we just wanted to have like a nice time in october and just like refresh and reset before the new year's but yeah that was canceled so after he got better and tested negative we still had some time off so we decided to pack our bags and come over to the italian coast so we are currently in alassio which is a small town on the Italian coast. It's kind of like northern uh, part close to the south of France. And it's a beautiful coast full of like sandy beaches. You guys have probably seen already in the little montage that I did for you. Uh, but yeah, like we are on the beach, facing the beach. You can hear the waves, the seagulls. It's just magical. I love this place. We come here pretty often, almost every year because it is actually like my husband's family's uh, vacation place. He's been coming here since he was a baby. So it's kind of like their second home. So we are super happy to be here. It's like a familiar place and it's out of season, which is so nice because in the summer, actually we, we avoid coming here because it gets too crowded. It's too busy. It's not our cup of tea. So we just love coming here like for Easter or some holidays and just like out of season. Like this is perfect time of the year, like October, September. Probably like end of September is a little bit better if you are a tourist because you have more options and like most of the bars and restaurants are still open. The hotels are still open. Like right now, I feel like it's 50-50. It's not like a full operational. A lot of bars are closed for like a little break in October. So yeah, if you're not local, I guess like end of September is a little bit better. We've been here already for a few days and we've been playing golf. We did our very first golf competition. It was so much fun. Uh, the golf course is like only 10 minutes away from Alasio from this town. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for a couple of days, probably show you around because I think it's such a cute town and not everybody knows about it. It's not like a super touristy place or like super known. Also this part of Italian coast is so beautiful because the towns are just on the sea. They're more modern, I would say. Like there is a lot more of modern buildings and apartments and you have this really long coast with sandy beaches, which is priceless so yeah i love being here we're super excited to be here i'm gonna bring you guys along with us as i said today we don't really have a plan for the day we only have tennis booked at 4 30 p.m it this is going to be like one of my first lessons of tennis i mean i'm not taking a coach jacqueline was just going to uh like teach me some bases i think in my whole life i did maybe three or four lessons of tennis. And as a kid, I wasn't really like into it. So I'm super excited to try it out now. I'm also now playing golf. So I feel like, I don't know, maybe I will be a little bit better. I don't know. I'm just very excited. I cannot wait to try it out. And then when we come back home, maybe I'll take some lessons and pick it up more seriously. But yeah, it's just gonna be a fun activity for this afternoon. Then we have dinner booked. But before that, we have nothing planned. We're thinking of, we're going to a nearby town, have a walk over there, bring the dogs with us and have lunch there. We're going down to the beach because it's such a beautiful day today. I did my hair today and I straightened it and well just blow dried it like straight and i know it's so counterintuitive for a lot of people because i'm on the coast and there is a lot of humidity but my hair you guys actually acts better when it's straightened like properly and then it can kind of hold in and just like resist the humidity but if i do any waves or anything of that kind they just fall out so quickly and then i just have like a frizzy mess so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully today it's gonna hold up well because it's not a windy day and also it seems like it's a bit drier day today. So maybe we'll go to the beach and have lunch on the beach, walk down to like a little cafe bar thing. 
on the beach because they have some chairs and sunbeds out in the season it's full of like sunbeds and they're all little private beaches clearly there are some public ones but yeah i think like most of the coast here like all the way from the old town to where we are and further down it's full of like private beaches but right now they're all closed so you can go down it's free and people are just laying on the sand sand just gets everywhere and it gets super messy so we might just walk down to one of the bars that we saw it was open and they had some chairs and shazlongs and stuff like that on the beach and we might have lunch there and just chill on the beach so we'll see i'm waiting for giacomo he's taking a shower and getting ready and then we'll decide where to go and i'll bring you guys along you're a lonely sailor and your soul is made of wind and rain Darts and blame I'm a weary pirate And my heart is made of dust and grain And spoils and pain I've got troubles, I've got sins I'm my worst enemy But I've still got a lot to give So I said, hey don't you wanna come, come and run away with me Hey, won't you come, won't you come And say by chance, don't you wanna man And then who fully understands A sailor's heart, a sailor's heart You're a born survivor And you'll never find yourself in love You're wild. The price you pay when you walk on the beach barefoot But it feels nice though Yeah I've put on my sneakers fun you guys i am definitely going to okay i have to run like a quick blow dry through my hair because now my hair has a weird bend from the hair tie but yeah i'm definitely going to look for a tennis coach when i come back and try to get better at tennis it got a little bit colder outside and i came upstairs just to wash my hands put on a sweatshirt grab the dogs and bring them outside we're gonna have a little walk before dinner then we're gonna come back home shower and go to dinner so let me just show you first the view from our apartment how stunning is this there's Giacomo waiting for me on the bench And we are ready for dinner. I don't have a full length mirror here to show you guys like the full outfit, but it's super simple. I'm just wearing like the brandy tee that I showed you in a previous haul. And also the pants are from Race. They were also in the previous hauls. I'm gonna link them down below if they're still available, but I think they are super simple. And I'm just wearing little booties. And I think I'll toss on a leather jacket because it got pretty cold when we were walking the dogs earlier so yeah super easy i am so hungry and i can't wait to go to dinner i also dried my hair a little bit like i blow dried it a little bit again because it got a bit like frizzy after the shower and this is how it looks now i'm loving the little layered look that i got the last time when i colored it so it just gave me some layers here in the front and just a few like on the top portion but like not too many just enough to have movement in the hair it kind of gives me the rachel from friends vibe and i love it I just remembered I need to feed the doggies because we're going for dinner. We're not gonna be at home. 
So you guys need to eat first. They're liking it here, but I think they're missing like playtime and just playing fetch in our backyard and like our long walks in the nature. They went to the beach two times. Watson, the little one, he loves the beach. He actually went into the water and he's like chasing the waves. He's really enjoying it, but it's so difficult with them, you guys, because they um, get full of sand. To be fair, like when they dry up, like the sand just disappears, like it all falls out and yeah, they look like as good as new, but immediately when they are just out of the water and the sand, they look, they just look horrible. <laughs> okay, let's eat. During the season, like the peak season in the summer, you, you like you can't walk around here, how jammed it is. Here is the sea, the restaurants. the long one. <laughs> okay, for an Italian, this is... Outrageous. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. 
Luckily, I always order some milk and I ask for some cold milk. So, yeah, you can add some cold milk, probably. It's gonna be better. Thank you. <laughs> but we knew it, though. We okay, already, yeah, I know, you forgot. Time, you forgot. No, but we knew last time it was the same. Was it that short? Yes, you said the yeah, same. But I had maybe two free beers. Yeah. Awesome. Super quick check in and just a little update. Today was not what we expected. Not that we played bad, but we played so bad, like probably the worst round of golf we had in a really long time. Like both of us together, um, like individually. And then it was the game of best ball. So you were, we were playing like best ball of each other. And yeah, it was just a complete disaster. We had fun for a while, but then, I mean, it's normal that you kind of, you know can't you can't like keep up with the good spirit when you keep sucking so it wasn't really the best day but we still managed to enjoy it a little bit i am so exhausted you guys i don't know what's going on like i'm not sleeping well over here like we had to change our pillows they were pretty like hard and i do not like to sleep on like super hard pillows so we got new pillows, but that didn't change like a lot. I am still sleeping very bad. And last night um, we heard some neighbors, they were out on their balconies and I don't know, it was just pretty loud. I couldn't sleep well. So I'm not making excuses for my bad day of golf, but I'm also so, so exhausted. Like I would go straight to bed and it's not even that late. We got home around 6 p.m. Now it's almost 8 p.m. and we're gonna go out for dinner we just had like a nice little walk with the dogs because clearly they were alone for a really long time today and yeah we just gave them a nice little walk we have to go out we don't have any food at home so we have to go out for dinner i am not happy to leave the dogs alone again because they have been alone pretty much all day today i mean they are together it's two of them and they are pretty fine alone like they don't have like that separation anxiety or like normally they're just fine like we never find like house like a mess or anything but still like they're super happy when we're back and clearly they're not happy that we're leaving again Giacomo already left because he had to go and withdraw some money uh from the ATM and I stayed in to feed them stay a little bit longer with them and I'm gonna meet him in a restaurant uh, it's a super nearby, like five minutes away from our place, so I should get going. But you guys, I'm so out of breath. I'm so tired. I could seriously just go to bed. I'm gonna push through and go and get dinner.
almost packed up. This is my little lineup of handbags. I couldn't fit everything into my suitcase, so I have my Celine Triumph bag in the desk bag. I'm gonna just put it in the car like so. And then I have been clearly on a kick with my Longchamp bags. This is my golf bag. I always carry this with me when I go play golf and it's so convenient. I just love it for golf. It's perfect size. I can shove a bunch of things in there and just like have it with me. So I have this one and now it's filled with some random things like my iPad, my laptop charger, my belt, like my little belt that I forgot to pack into my suitcase then over here in the bigger one and this is the small shoulder strap longchamp bag so this is the size in comparison with the actual small bag like with the short straps this is another one this is a ni nicer comparison this is the latest one that i got i got this one in switzerland thank you um if you're watching my friend emily was so kind and i had this shipped over to her house because these are sold out everywhere else in the world like i could only find it in switzerland so i got it there because i love this color so yeah this is the small one with the short strap and then this is the small with the shoulder uh strap and this is the size difference i love them both i love these colors so yeah this one normally doesn't like fit my laptop like generally i wouldn't carry my laptop in this one but i just had to so i kind of like squeezed it in clearly i can't like close the bag uh but this will do i'm just gonna oh my gosh this is so heavy this one is super heavy my laptop is extremely heavy i love it it does a great job but it's extremely heavy i have a 16 inch macbook pro and it's super heavy and then over here i just have this little to me a pouch that i got off of amazon and i just have a lot of my well all of my cables camera chargers batteries stuff like that so this is what i'll be carrying with me The weather cleared up it was pouring rain earlier today i don't know if i filmed i think i haven't filmed and showed you guys but it was pouring rain and the weather cleared up so we were lucky that we were not like loading the car while it was pouring rain so we're just gonna have a, a last little nice walk so my battery is blinking i think it's going to die on me soon so i just wanted to do a little outro we're all packed up the car is packed up we cleaned the apartment tidied up everything picked up after us and we are ready to head back home uh, we checked and it looks like it's going to be a smooth drive it hopefully there's not going to be a lot of traffic because it was a public holiday here for halloween so so a lot of people just came over for the weekend and yeah we're just hoping we don't find a lot of traffic but yeah we are going to head home and thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one